Let's do it. Hey guys, welcome to game two between Agistol and Hoff. Agistol starting the upper right-hand corner as the pink Zerg bottom right-hand corner. We have Hoff as the green Protoss. This is on BSL Aid Runner or Blade Runner. Again, the map that kind of has those breakable Zerg eggs on the ramp, although the Overlord's not going to show it. Looks like Agistol's going to scout in that upper left-hand corner. It's going to be a little bit later. Well, we'll see where is. So I assume he's going to scout this direction next, so he should come into Hoff's space with that drone. Getting ahead of myself in speculation. I feel like Hoff, yeah, did exactly what... And you can almost feel like the tension of it for both Zerg and Protoss players these days, where it almost can go either way. I feel like Hoff played that uh, really, really well. The only criticism I have is I guess the gateways could have been... Could have paused for the gateways a bit earlier? I don't know. I think Hoff's actually a much better player than I am, so I won't comment either way. But Hoff pulling it out, I will say this i am very thankful so a, a little bit rusty on my pvz clearly i think i'm gonna go try to catch some zerg streams to see at least some successful zerg streams even jayun at the top levels of vsl has opted to switch to protoss uh, versus zerg rather than do zerg versus zerg and i gotta say he's looked beastly in that by the way check out vsl 12 is running really the highlight of that of course is the uh the pro league sector that they've got so here here's the eggs i'm talking about which makes those ramps a little bit more exposed which i feel like make that zergling pressure uh, a bit more interesting. Gateway has been plopped down for Hoff, so he's going for that one gate. This seems to be standard these days. Critically, though, he's not putting that one gate down at his natural expansion. Bit of a pause there. He's not putting this gateway down at his natural expansion, which almost makes me wonder if he's going to go for that two gate opener, which it looks like he, in fact, is. Yeah. So going two gate, because this is going to... So what this does is by putting it up here, there's a little bit more time with that drone scout. I think with the zealot in position he can still see it over that edge but basically what he's going to rely on is is like okay this is a wide open natural expansion let me go ahead and apply and you we have these eggs that can be killed yeah i'm going to go and come at you hatchery being planted that was in fact an 11 hatch where or sorry it's a ooh, interesting build pool then hatch this is not standard fare that i've seen so spawning pool first skipping the overlord going hatchery on 11 to follow that or sorry there was an overlord Derp! Uh, just missing my timing on it. Again, a little bit rusty on the <laughs> non-PVP stuff. So we did. Uh, so I think what we saw was an overpool there. There we see the hatchery to follow. What we're at the two minute, yeah, the two minute thirty mark. For some reason, I thought we were much earlier in this match. Drone scouts starting to move out. Two zealots are being produced, and this is going to be the three first three zealots moving up. This is so Agistol is in a position. He needs to to save these larvae right now. To because if he oof, he needs more larvae than this, honestly, because two zerglings is not enough to fight back three zealots and what soon will be four or five basically oh and he's putting down a third hatchery this might be a build order loss for agistol we'll see because he'll he'll need to cancel that and say oh no okay a couple more zerglings out of that so that's at least good i was i was thinking those might be drones second hatchery might be up the zealots starting to move forward they do have two probes three probes from hoff this is going to be interesting so is he going to do an in-base build with i don't think there's a forge back here maybe a offensive shield battery Zergling's here. He needs to put down two something colonies, honestly, in this back wall, I think, to fight this off at this stage. Because this is just six Zerglings, and this is already three Zealots and a bunch of probes. Four probes, three Zealots. And the something colony's not even warping in. Okay, now engaging. But honestly, the, yeah, Zerglings oftentimes will lose heads up fight against probes that are well microed. And right now, there's just all sorts of zealots inside of his base. Oof. And actually walking right up into the main. Just, you know what? Forget your sun colony. We're going to walk up here. Now the question is, is does Hoff just continue to produce units? Or is he just going to work with this? Agistol fleeing his his main. And that's going to expose the spawning pool to these zealots. More zealots moving up. They should be dissuaded by that sunken colony. They can still do a run by, but they're going to be a little bit lower on health. Drones gathering up to do a re-engagement. Hoff. Nice drone drill on top of all these zealots. The zealots are getting disrupted. The probe's getting disrupted as well. Agistol with actually a decent defense here. The zealots not able to get a lot of attacking off. And he does clean it up. Still a couple probes in his base. Ooh, loses, looks like two. I think one of those was a zergling. But now with the additional units, able to push up an Agistol with the nice defense. Only one zealot with very little health remaining. And the rest of the zealots engaging the sunken colony at his natural expansion. Still continuing to produce zealots out of the gateway. But I gotta say, this looks like it's gonna be a win. Ooh, I take it back. Okay, finally that zealot cleaned up. Looks like this is gonna be a win for Agistol. He just needs to continue to produce a handful of zerglings to defend against the continued zealot pressure. And then drone up. And he's got three, honestly, he's got three bases. Plenty of larvae to work with. 
Only has eight drones overall, but should be able to recover that from that fairly rapidly. This is going to be six zealots. So, but, so the trick for Adistal is being able to produce the zerglings that he needs to protect his natural expansion and keep the zealots out of his main, but also sneak the drones when he, when he has them. Doing a little bit of damage, going to let the zealots wander down, take out that sunk colony, and get us around otherwise. Zerglings, nice little bit of micro there by Hoff, but it looks like these zealots are in fact going to get cleaned up. Two more zealots making their way across. And a few more a few more Zerglings being produced. So this is where Agistal might be. And this is kind of where, you know, Zerg versus Protoss becomes almost a game you got to feel out. Zerglings looking to catch these Zealots in open field are going to get a bit of free damage. Oh, looks like they're just on move command to wander the way across. I, mm, I'm not sure I like that move from Agistal, just wandering the Zerglings across. When you have map control, keep map control kill the units on the field, but he wants to try to do some counter damage. He is going to catch a Zealot here in this back area, but that's going to allow those... The two Zealots are going to wander back. But I don't know. We'll see. Now he's basically allowing his offense to be his defense. He's got six Zerglings in the main. A Dragoon is already out, though. And a lot of these Zerglings are low on health. And this is plenty of Zealots to clean this up, and I'm almost wondering if this is a misstep from Magistol. By not playing in that defensive position, by not sitting back with his units, uh, and by not basically taking the opportunity to drone up. That's allowing Hoff to clean this up. More Zerglings starting to flood their way down. But yeah, he needs to get the drones. He needs to get that Hydro stand up. He's already been set behind in that space. Hoff playing this nicely. It looks like that Dra Ooh, Dragoon taking a little bit of base damage is going to get that Overlord, which is going to put Agistol in the red. Now things not looking good for Agistol. Yeah, in the red, has Zerglings in his opponent's base. He's going to have to wait on his Overlord to be able to drone up. He does have two producing. It's not going to put him in the red for too long. The Zerglings wandering in, trying to get what they can. A scout being produced, of all things, to try to deal with these Zerglings. And this is a good amount of... As long as Hoff continue, Yeah, I think as long as Hoff continues to micro this well... I don't know. We'll see. This is kind of a wild game back and forth. The Zerglings surrounding. The Zealots look like they're able to clean everything up. The Dragoon still surviving. More Zerglings flooding through. Agistol's putting himself all in with this Zergling attack. I think he felt like, okay, I took enough drone damage where I'm all in at this stage, so let me just try to Zergling Flood and win it this way. And unfortunately for him, I don't... He's just not getting a lot done with these attacks. These Zerglings constantly are getting cleaned up. He's not... He's barely getting any base damage. That Dragoon's gonna plug that front door now with the, while these Zealots continue to produce. And so now Agistol, even though, yeah, he does have three bases, he has no anti-air, and that Scout's gonna wander up and just feast on Overlords, perhaps. More Zerglings flooding down. Hoff just has to keep producing Zealots and defend this ramp, and he will win this match. Shield battery on the front to provide some additional defense against this. Agistol continue to try to pour the units down. He is all in, basically, with this Zergling attack. More Zerglings flooding their way through. One Dragoon down, finally. <clears throat> that second Dragoon is going to take some base damage, but there's only two Zerglings remaining. Another group of six wandering in. But more Zealots are spawning to greet them, and I think... Well, we'll see... One Zergling able to push through. More Zerglings coming across. Or Zealot's going to remain at home base. So this is... I'm almost. I'm waiting for a cannon or something. Probe's pulling off the line. Agistol actually still might be able to get this, even though he's down to nine. Because it looks like that, that Scout is doing a bit additional damage. No, this, this has got to go to Hoff, right? It's got to go to Hoff. He's still producing Zealots. It's just five Zerglings. Six Zerglings, seven Zerglings. The probe line alone could defend against this. And this Scout is completely unopposed. And just annihilating drones. How many kills? Already four kills in the meantime. So Agistol continuing to pour on the pressure with the Zerglings. But Hoff, the stalwart zealots, are surviving. Forge finally being dropped. I don't know, though. Agistol has a lot of... So despite all of this, despite the scout doing just free damage, there's a lot of Zerglings inside of Hoff's base. The Zerglings moving away. If he can just... Maybe pick the right buildings if he can micro his Zerglings perfectly as more Zerglings continuing to flood in this base. No Zealots yet produced. This is going to be two Zealots versus a lot. Now engaging that probe line. Again, probes are not bad units versus Zerglings. Zerglings, although they are fast and annoying, are small. Hoff's drone count plummeting. And now the scout coming back to home base to provide some defense against these Zerglings. Zealot getting a favorable engagement across this line, but more Zerglings continuing to press through. Just piecemeal. Both players down to single digit, well, not single digit. Well, yeah, single digit. 
uh, eight and nine. Eight probes, or sorry, nine probes versus eight drones. Almost feels like a reset. This is the X Factor, though. That is a scout in the air. What a presence of mind to build the scout, I guess. That might be the thing that wins in this match. Corsair moving up to try to again supply cap Agisol. Again, he has no anti-air. The Zerglings continuing to try to push through. It looks like finally Hoff has managed to establish a front door. More Zerglings pressing, and it looks like, yeah, those, yeah, the Zealots now finally holding that front. The Zerglings have been cleaned out. Now I'm going to firmly give the game to Hoff. Yeah, there's GG. Woo! Back and forth, I tell ya. How many kills did this Hero Scout have at the end? Seven kills. This is, actually, I'm going to say it. I kind of enjoy Chobo League. Uh, I enjoy it. It can go either way. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. <laughs> Exciting one back and forth. Thank you guys for listening.